Did you ever scrunch your hair like back in the day with gel? Yes, in the 90s and early 2000s. Yeah, we've come a long way. Like Justin Timberlake had the top ramen Oh here. yeah. I did too. Hey everyone, I am Jocelyn and for the last 30 or so years, I've been flat ironing and straightening my hair, but this year I am embracing the curls. I'm on a journey thanks to my fairy godmother of the curly world, Simone. Jocelyn, I am so proud of you and so excited that you're rocking your curls and I'm gonna show you and everyone at home what I do to achieve a really easy wash and go curly look every day. If you aren't able to take a full shower, this is a great trick just to kind of refresh your curls. You just can wet them with a spray bottle. And the reason why you want your hair to be really wet when you put the product in is because the water tends to absorb some of the heaviness of the product. So hopefully what is left over is a really light, effortless, Curl. Yeah, because you don't want your hair to be like so saturated in product. Like the 90s. We don't want the 90s to call us and tell us they want their hair so bad. <laughs> There's droplets coming down my face. It feels good. <laughs> you can use a wide tooth comb or you can use a brush in the shower. For me, when I use a brush, I get less tight curls and then when I use a wide tooth comb, I get tighter curls. You may want to do this. I don't want to hurt your head. No, I, I have honestly no feeling left in my head for my mom <laughs> doing my hair when I was a kid. <laughs> None at all. Okay, like I said, I'm not a hairstylist, but I think I remember you start from the bottom and, and work, work your way up. up. Okay, cool. The easiest way to get through the tangles is when it's really wet and when it's like just conditioned and when you're in the shower. Plus, when you get all that nasty hair, on, loose hair on your hands, you can just sort of like wash oh it away. Gosh. Don't even get me started <laughs> on what the inside of my shower looks like after I do this. Is it a hair museum like mine? It looks like, I don't know, some sort of animal has been like molting or shedding after hibernating all winter. <laughs> So when I started on the curly hair journey, I reached out to Simone because I feel like our hair textures are very similar. And this is a leave-in conditioner from Mixed Chicks that's awesome for our hair. Yeah, so I just put in a quarter-sized mm -hmm. amount for each side of the hair. Smear it, smather it all up in both hands, <laughs> and then I just rub it on there and make sure that all of the strands are coated in it. And then, Jocelyn, can I give you a little homework? I would love a little homework. Can you just scrunch this side that I just put the product or in? Or as I've heard it's called, squish to condish. Have what? you heard that? Plot twist. Squish to condish. Okay, I'm gonna put it in the other side now. The curls are coming to life. Scrunch that other side okay. for me. There you go. Actually, squish to, to condish. condish. Yeah, and I have to give a shout out. One of the curly queens of the internet, her name is India. She taught me that. Shouts to India. My favorite way to dry curly hair is just air dry because it's less frizzy that way, but there is a little trick. You can use a diffuser. So Jocelyn, can I get you to tilt your head this way a little sure. bit? So with the diffuser, you really just wanna scoop up the hair and it does a really nice job of diffusing it on its own. And the reason why we put it on a warm temperature and a low speed is to reduce frizz. If you go in there and you got it on a high speed, you're gonna get a lot of flyaways. You do wanna dry the front pieces first. Oh really, why is that? They're gonna be more uniform because if you do that side, this side's gonna air dry while you're oh, waiting. No. And they're like so, they're like not even sisters. You symmetry. Know, at that point. Symmetry. It just makes me think like how many people are out there in the world who under their flat iron or blow dried hair or like treated hair have something like this and they don't even know. I mean I just look like Monica on vacation on friends, like electrocution, but I never knew that it could look put together, I guess. And I think honestly people just don't know how to manage it or what to do. With curly hair, you really never stop learning about it. No. It's always a journey and I like to say every curly haired woman is a chemist because <laughs> you learn about the right calculation of water and air and wind and heat and how all of that translates into the curls that you like to wear. These 
have become my two best Ooh, friends. Talk oh, talk yeah. to me about this. After you've scrunched and diffused the hair, you might still feel like, eh, I kind of want a little more definition. Mm -hmm. I want to like clean up a little bit of the frizz. That's where these come in. Do you want a super tiny and then like a like medium sized mm -hmm. iron? I'm gonna separate these into pieces. You're gonna take the curling iron and just follow whatever the natural pattern of that curl is. So you try and kind of like just jump into the party and like fit in and oh, have a good whoa. time. That is wild. Boom. I basically only do this if I'm actually going somewhere. <laughs> if I'm You mean just... you don't do this before you go to bed at night? Mm, no. <laughs> I tried to kind of make my front ones a little bit longer. Exactly. Yeah. Unless you're going for that curly bang look, which is super in style and very cute right now. That's true. But I'm not quite there yet. Shout out to Sammy Miro. She just pulled off that look really well and oh, I'm did like, she? wait, maybe I need curly bangs now. So Jocelyn, what I like to do is mix up the two sizes. Okay. I personally like to have some bigger waves framing the face and then just kind of peppered in throughout. And that's what your natural hair is like anyways. Mm -hmm. And you really do get into a rhythm especially if you're doing this on yourself. Like, I can honestly do this in like seven minutes. Really? No. Oh yeah. Wow. Yeah, I can do it really fast. That is definitely a major challenge of trying to learn something new is that sometimes this will take me like two or three hours. Yeah. I would love to do it in seven minutes. That's more on brand for me, for sure. Can we look in this mirror that's over here? What in the world? <gasps> I love Excuse her. Excuse me. Who is that? <laughs> this is the kind of wig I want to wear. I want to like <laughs> shave my own head, turn it into a wig and wear this every day. Is that an option? <laughs> it looks good. The last thing that we're going to do is just put on a little extra product at the end. Curly hair loves moisture. Mm -hmm. This is Fito Professional Fiber Paste. Okay. And I just take a little bit on my index finger and then I rub it and mostly put it on my fingertips. Mm -hmm. That way I can work it through the hair. So I kind of take it. Oh, just to kind of give it a little more definition. Exactly. Less frizz again. Exactly. This is unbelievable. Really? Are yes. You being, are you pulling my leg? No, I'm not pulling your okay. leg at all. And truthfully, every day, my hair looks so different, and as I do this longer, my curl pattern becomes more defined. Yeah. Your hair looks different day by day, really, and better day by day, I think. Yeah, that's true. Are you conditioning your hair a lot, not shampooing it a lot? Um, great question, Simone, great question. Like one to two times a week, I'll wash my hair. And some days if I feel like I just wanna wet it, I'll just condition it. So I'm just grabbing a little oil this is Moroccan oil, and just spraying it into my palm. You probably would want to do that rather than spray it directly on the mm -hmm. hair, because then you could risk too much. too much. And that is the worst for curly hair. And then it's ruined at the end, and you just spent three hours doing it, and then you suddenly ruin it. Yeah. <laughs> not that I would know from personal experience. No, but. not traumatized at all. <laughs> And with the oil, it's really great to get it on the ends because the ends are always gonna be the driest part of your hair. Okay, so now I want you to just kind of play with it. I really Tease love this fluffing technique that I just learned about. Yeah. Where it really helps just sort of like bring your hair to life in general a little bit more. Yeah. I mean, that is taking <gasps> up the whole shot, probably. Oh, There's a it's lot. It's so cute, though. This feels very yeah. natural and soft. And like my boyfriend could like touch my hair without getting his hand like stuck in there. Yes, you know? it is totally boyfriend proof. Totally boyfriend proof. Ding. Simone, <laughs> this looks so good. Jocelyn. No, you're so talented. You really are. I really enjoyed doing this. That's the truth. It well, was so fun. Truly, sincerely, get over here so I can look at you. I would not be where I am on this journey if it were not for you because you mm -hmm. were one of the first people 
to reach out to me on Instagram, send me a novel of things that I should be doing with my hair and it was so, so helpful. So thank you. Thank you for trying the tips that I sent. I just love seeing women feel good mm -hmm. about their curly hair. That's what it all comes down to. And I think for everybody, for you guys watching, you're probably doing things we don't even know about. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you have opinions on maybe things we should have done differently or things we should have added. And I want to know what they are. So hit the comments and share the love, share the wealth. It's just still all so new to me. I'm like, this is this me? <laughs> I swear like Weird Al is my dad. I really do and I'm okay with it. Yeah, right. If you like what you saw, subscribe below. And if you wanna watch another awesome video, and you do, click right over here.